Starship has huge potential. It will be used by NASA to set down American astronauts on the moon. The Pentagon intends to utilize it to quickly transport military supplies across the globe. It has the potential to significantly lower the cost of traveling to space, which is being eyed by astronomers, satellite firms, and prospective space tourists. Stay with us throughout the video to know what else it can do and how it's going to do that. Hello, and welcome back to INO6, where we discuss everything about innovation, construction, and future civilization. In today's video, we'll discuss what is Starship and why is SpaceX betting highly on it? So without wasting time, let's get started. According to Elon Musk, Starship is the holy grail of space technology and is essential to his long-term goal of colonizing Mars. SpaceX has been using the Falcon 9 since 2010, and it's grown to be one of the most important launchers for international space flights. The next generation Starship is in envisioned as a massive, entirely reusable rocket system that might be less expensive and fly more frequently. The rocket has been gradually revealing itself as a stainless steel sentinel reflecting the sunshine at a South Texas launch site along the Gulf of Mexico since 2019. Fiery failures during the testing of Starship prototypes led to a successful flight and landing in May 2021. Musk claims that 2022 will be the first time Starship enters orbit after a string of inaccurate predictions and delays. We are almost in 2023, and Starship hasn't gone into orbit yet. There are still many challenges to be addressed. Here are the answers to frequently asked questions regarding Starship and what needs to happen before it can even reach orbit, much less the moon. What is Starship? Starship is over 400 feet tall when all its parts are piled together, making it taller than the Statue of Liberty. Additionally, it is taller than Saturn V, the spacecraft used by NASA's Apollo program to launch American humans to the moon. According to Mr. Musk, Starship is planned to have nearly twice the power of Saturn V. The 30-foot diameter of Starship, which is larger than other orbital spacecraft, is designed to allow for the transportation of massive loads of goods or maybe many passengers. Starship is perched atop Super Heavy, a massive rocket booster, in order to enter orbit. The two sections of the spacecraft split up close to the edge of space after they have passed through the rigors of the Earth's atmosphere. The Super Heavy launcher propels the Starship off the ground and returns to land close to its launch pad as it moves closer to orbit. The descending rocket will try to be grabbed by a huge tower with mechanical arms to land it carefully. The Starship, which is built to withstand the intense heat of re-entry exactly like the underside of the space shuttle, flies back through Earth's atmosphere on its side. Starship restarts its engines just before touching down to turn vertically and make a gentle landing. When will Starship launch into orbit? Five upper section prototypes of the Starship have have been test launched by SpaceX to a height of about 6 miles. Only the final prototype could stick a landing. The others either crashed or caught fire. Reaching orbit, the subsequent chapter in the timeline of the Starship has started more slowly. SpaceX must make its super heavy rocket debut in order to travel to orbit. Instead of the three Raptor rocket engines that flew on previous Starship prototypes, it will be powered by dozens of them. The launch date of Starship has been delayed multiple times, but Mr. Musk's most recent estimate was for a sometime after February. Originally planning to conduct the test in 2021 during the summer, SpaceX steadily pushed the schedule back as problems with the super heavy designs and drawn out regulatory evaluations impeded the company's desire to move quickly. What difficulties are ahead? The rocket system's development and construction have been clearly visible at SpaceX's outdoor facilities in Boca Chica, Texas, just a few miles from the border between the United States and Mexico. The location is known by the name Starbase, one of the most highly observed technical spectacles of a firm owned by Mr. Musk, who is known for moving quickly and pushing breakneck development timetables as the CEO of both SpaceX and Tesla. The electric car maker has remote cameras set nearby by space enthusiast media companies. Dramatic explosions, run-ins with federal authorities, and a few significant achievements have made the company's rocket development ethos fly, crash, learn, and repeat clearly evident. Before launching Starship into space, SpaceX must pass a drawn-out government examination of the environmental impact on the region surrounding the launch site, which is close to nature preserves where endangered species live.
live. When SpaceX planned to use the location for testing and launching its Falcon 9 rocket in 2014, an environmental evaluation was approved. But as Starship became a reality, those ideas significantly evolved and grew, necessitating a fresh environmental assessment. Among SpaceX's new plans for the region are the opening of a natural gas plant to supply fuel for Starship, the installation of a solar farm, the construction of parking lots, the establishment of facilities for processing payloads, and the execution of more test flights, which increased the possibility of testing explosions that could send debris and powerful shockwaves for distances. About 18,000 comments, many from outside the region, flooded in when the Federal Aviation Administration opened up the public comment period on a draft of its evaluation in 2021. In the Brownsville area, SpaceX has seen both fervent support and fierce criticism. Some local government officials applaud the potential job growth the launch site could bring to the region, but a lot of people in the neighborhood are also concerned about the economic and environmental costs of such a sizable business coming to their neighborhood. The FFA and other authorities will decide if a more thorough environmental evaluation of SpaceX's Starship site is necessary after the review process is finished and the public views are considered. If it happens, that can put off the company's development for months or even years. The rocket is ready to take off. Any rocket development program starts with daunting hurdles because that's how rocket science works. The manufacturing of SpaceX's new rocket engine, Raptor, which will power Starship, has run into issues. According to CNBC, Mr. Musk called the scenario a Raptor production catastrophe in a communication to staff members in late 2021. The company's newest rocket booster engine, the Next Generation Engine, replaces Merlin, which powered Falcon 9 for more than a decade. George Neal, an aerospace specialist on NASA's safety advisory panel, said during a recent panel meeting that the agency recently indicated significant progress in the overall production of the Starship. NASA, which plans to use a version of Starship for its first crewed flight to the moon, is monitoring SpaceX's Raptor development. What will transpire during the test orbital flight of Starship? A 90-minute flight to the coast of Hawaii may be part of Starship's first mission to orbit, according to plans SpaceX submitted to authorities last May. The entire rocket system would take off from Texas, with the Super Heavy booster splashing down in the Gulf of Mexico about 20 miles from the Texas coast after pulsing Starship into orbit for a demonstration of a partial return. Starship will aim to orbit the planet once after entering orbit before returning to Earth's atmosphere for a splashdown around 60 miles off the shore of Kauai, one of Hawaii's northernmost islands. Will Starship ever reach the moon? NASA awarded SpaceX $2.9 billion in 2021 to create a version of Starship for the organization's first two moon missions as part of Artemis, a multi-billion dollar effort to send astronauts back to the moon's surface. The objective is to use the moon as a testing ground for future Mars missions. The first Starship moonshot will serve as a trial run, traveling to the moon by itself to show that it's capable of landing there and returning. The next mission, tentatively scheduled for 2025, will transport NASA astronauts. However, this mission will also encounter a number of technical challenges. NASA must first successfully test another massive rocket, the long-delayed Space Launch System, before sending people to the moon. That powerful rocket system will launch the Orion crew capsule to the moon, where it will dock with the Starship and take the astronauts with it before they travel to the lunar surface. With its Crew Dragon spacecraft, SpaceX has successfully transported passengers to low Earth orbits and docked with the International Space Station. However, the corporation hasn't shared a lot of information about the devices it's creating to protect astronauts when they go to the moon. Additionally, Starship will encounter special difficulties even before it reaches the moon. Prior to launching the last moon-bound Starship, which will require more fuel to land on and launch from the lunar surface, SpaceX will need to send a number of tanker starships into space to act as gas stations. A series of orbital refueling tests are necessary for that, and joining two starships in orbit is a technically challenging and hazardous task. What else can Starship accomplish? The only other passengers on Starship will not be government astronauts. In 2018, a SpaceX's headquarters in Southern California, Yusaku Meikawa, a Japanese billionaire and the creator of the apparel business Zozo, declared his intention to travel to the moon and back on Starship with eight other people. Starship is also positioned to serve as the focal point of SpaceX's satellite launch business, which generates income for the company. The constellation needs thousands more stars.
Starlink satellites to be complete. A Falcon 9 rocket can hold around 60 people. Starship could launch hundreds at once. Will SpaceX actually travel to Mars on Starship? The concept of Starship has evolved considerably during the last 10 years. The rocket has also gone by several names as BFR, Interplanetary Transport System, and Mars Colonial Transporter. In 2018, Mr. Musk renamed the vessel Starship via a tweet. The landing legs and the configuration of the rocket's aerodynamic fins have changed, but the exterior is still made of polished steel. Astronauts will be able to descend to the moon's surface from the Starship's concepts crew area at the top, thanks to the addition of an elevator. The Starship's Raptor's engines have likewise advanced. The most recent model is known as Raptor 2, but according to Mr. Musk, the engine's full design revamp is necessary for the engine that can genuinely make life multiplanetary. It won't go by the name Raptor. Then there is the issue of making it to Mars and returning alive. Mr. Musk casually responded, I don't think it's actually tough to achieve that, relative to the spacecraft itself, when asked about creating life support systems for extended trips in 2019. That's it for today. Hope you liked the video. Share it if you did. Like and comment on the video that you want to see next on our channel, and subscribe to see our future videos. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep watching.